so just to um, start off, we're obviously here to discuss um, MVS, the 2021 virtual conference. So just to start off, I was wondering if you could just give me a general data overview of both the pivotal and the long-term study of Kimobi, kind of just the, um, the takeaways there. All right, Kimobi is a sublingual apomorphine preparation. Apomorphine, of course, is a very potent but short-acting dopamine agonist, uh, which has been used uh, for Parkinson's disease actually for many decades. Uh, the main difficulty with it is, is finding a delivery system because it's somewhat acidic and it's very poorly orally absorbed. Uh, in this uh, uh, study, set of studies, Kinmobi is a new sublingual preparation uh, that seems to be well absorbed and reasonably well tolerated. In the studies, there really were no big surprises about efficacy. We know this medication works and, and at various doses between 10 milligrams and 30 milligrams in the studies, uh, most patients with fluctuating Parkinson's would turn on uh, at least as well as with levodopa. Uh, in the long-term studies, uh, there were some issues uh, with irritability in the gums as would be expected by something that's a bit acidic. Uh, but overall, I don't think there were any big surprises. Most patients uh, in, uh, enjoyed using the drug as a rescue therapy uh, for when they were wearing off. So the main take home message from Kinmobi is that it's very effective. It works very, very quickly. Uh, although there's no comparison to subcutaneous injections, it seems to be in the same ballpark as far as rapidity to, to onset and perhaps a longer duration of benefit. Uh, the big thing to work to, to worry about in the long run is uh, some irritation with the with the gingiva uh, and gums. Uh, this seems to improve if you take uh, short breaks from the medication. There's also some evidence that uh, alkaline toothpastes, like uh, baking soda-based toothpastes, might actually be beneficial if they do have some irritation with long-term use of the medication. 